Canon EOS 5D Mark III offers a lot more capabilities and better performance than its predecessor. But despite a new sensor and new image processor, it's not so different on the basics, meaning photo and video quality, as you'd expect. Of course, the 5D Mark II is pretty great in those respects, so no drastic change isn't necessarily a bad thing. With a couple of exceptions, I really like the design of the Mark III, which is pretty similar to the Mark II. My favorite aspects are the large lockable control dial, which can double as a silent touchpad for adjusting settings during movie capture, and the updated 100% coverage viewfinder. The controls are extremely customizable via a well-designed and easily accessible interface. Canon added a small programmable button to the top of the camera, and the depth of field preview button, also programmable, now sits near the grip for operation with your right ring finger. Canon's updated the recording interface, moving and consolidating the control for easier access. While it's great that the mode dial now locks, it uses the center push button that debuted in the 60D and which I find a bit awkward. And while I don't dislike the location of the power switch, it does routinely flip from off to on when moving in and out of my camera bag. Incorporating Digic 5 Plus processing adds a lot of important features to the camera, which includes support for UDMA7 compact flash. The camera now has dual CF SD card slots, which is really a useful feature. The Mark III also gets a dedicated headphone jack, time code support, and 64 levels of audio control plus a wind filter. One video disappointment, the camera only outputs the display view via HDMI, so you can't get high resolution video capture that way. There's no doubt that the Mark III offers excellent photo quality. The unprocessed images do seem to have less pronounced color noise than the Mark II. And at mid-range to high ISO sensitivities, the JPEGs do look a little cleaner. But at low to middle ISO sensitivities, I actually think the JPEG photos from the Mark II look a little better, with more naturally defined detail and fewer processing artifacts. That said, the Mark III's JPEGs do look fine, better than fine, up through ISO 1600. And depending upon the scene and your needs, they can be quite good through ISO 6400. And the larger, higher resolution LCD is much better for gauging sharpness, though you still really need a third-party viewfinder for shooting video. I'd love to see a peaking feature, which would help a bit. Unlike the G800, the Mark III isn't a no-brainer upgrade for 5D Mark II shooters, but I think that's more of a testament to the quality of the Mark II than anything lacking in the Mark III. It does have some important advantages over its predecessor, though, including a much faster autofocus system, improved video quality and controls, and a far more configurable feature set. If those are important to you, it's definitely worth the price premium over the now-reduced Mark II. I'm Laurie Grunin, and this is the Canon EOS 5D Mark III.